Okay, this one is actually kind of interesting. It's based on a job I did recently. Let's say I have a logo, and uh, the logo has these rockets, these cartoony kind of rockets coming out the bottom. And the client has said that he likes the logo, but he feels that um, it's entirely too sparse, and he wants a lot more fire to go uh, between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set uh, Auto Select on, and I'm going to have it set to layer. What I like about that is that when I click on a layer, as you can see over here, or I click on this layer, as you can see over here, uh, it knows what layer I'm clicking on, which means that I can just click on something and move it. I'm undoing it. Or click on this and move it. I'm undoing that. Okay. So now I'm going to click on a layer, and I'm going to hold the Alt key down, and I'm going to duplicate it. Hmm, I'm duplicating it, but you know, I don't like the way when I duplicate it, the fire is opaque. The red edge of one flame disappears behind another flame. And um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to screen them together. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to change the blend mode of these guys to screen. Um, it's going to take a minute or two. Screen. Oh, look at that. I changed it to screen and um, it vanished because it's against a white background and you can't screen anything against white. The white will burn through and overpower the screen. So let's change the white background to a black background for the time being. There's the fire again. So now there's layer one. Here's layer two. We're going to change that to a screen. Layer three, screen. I think I'd know where it is by now. Layer 4, screen. Layer 5, screen. Layer 6, screen. Layer 7, screen. Okay, now when I select these and Alt uh, drag them around, I can fill them in and they copy around. And you see the way when they screen on top of each other, the uh, yellow gets extra bright and the red on red is extra red. That's kind of more luminous and fire-like, so uh, I like the way that's looking. So I'm going to do that. Now the problem is, okay, let's say that's what, what the client's looking for. It's kind of regular and funny looking, but let's just say that that's what, what he wants. Um, that's great, but let's change the background back to white again. Okay, I just did control I. Hmm, fire's gone. Control I fires back again because it's against black. So here's what we need to do. We need to select the fire from layer one all the way up to the top of uh, the stack where the highest fire is. I'm holding the shift down and that'll select everything in between the two clicks. Now it's all selected. Now I say Control G. That just threw it all into a group. Now if I change the background back to white again and I change the group, which has its own blend mode. All the things inside are screened, but the group itself has a blend mode. Change it from pass-through to normal. Now it's screened within the group, but the group itself is normal uh, blend mode against the white background. So that's great. Now let's say that the client comes back and says, hmm, I'd like twice as many flames, and you can just duplicate them and slide them over. Okay, well, I'll do that. Uh, auto select is on layer I want to change to group now when I click on this it'll select the group and if I alt drag it it will duplicate make a copy of the whole group so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna slide it over okay now the problem is that uh, it's opaque again so what I need to do is I need to make this group instead of normal I need to make it uh, screen which is there. Oh, it's gone against white. Well, let's worry about that a second from now. The next group, we're going to make that screen also. Now we have uh, the two groups uh, are vanished, um, but we're going to take that group and that group, and we're going to say Control G, and those are going to go inside a group. So there's groups inside groups. Group 2 has a blend mode. It's passed through. We're going to change it to normal. Now all the fires back, all the flames within the groups are screening against each other, and one of the group of flames is screening against the other group of flames.